We're looking at points on functions and examining their corresponding points on the inverse of the function. And so the way we're going to start this exercise is you're given a list of points and all of these points are going to lie on the function itself. Now we don't know what the function is exactly but this tells us that we're putting a negative 4 into the function. And so we're going to go to our function machine and we're going to put in a negative 4 we're going to process it in our machine and I can see that the output of this particular function is negative 10. Now what we're doing is we're examining the function, points on the function and points that correspond on the inverse function and so we're going to take the output of the function and we're going to put it into our inverse function and we're going to uh, process the output. And I can see that uh, in this case when I put a negative 10 in I got a negative 4 as an output. Now what we have to do here is we have to fill that information into our into our table and so uh, when the input was negative 4 the output was negative 10 and in this case when the corresponding point had an input of negative 10 the output was negative 4. Okay and we're going to continue in that fashion. Now when you're completely done what you're actually going to do after you've filled in the table of points is you're going to be plotting these points on this GeoGebra applet and so drag each point to its proper location so I know that uh, when x was negative 10 the output was negative 4 and so there there is my first point on the function and I know that when my x was negative 4 my output was negative 10 and there's my first point on the inverse function when you're done you will see uh, the function and its inverse function appear. You'll notice this is the line y equals x. I want you to think about how these points are related to each other relative to the line y equals x and you should see a secret word appear that is the answer to the question.